yes, I fall back into a wall in public and at home and I'm just like, can't help it. I can't help that my body's broken. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Haley, and I make videos all about life with a chronic illness. So if you like that type of content, hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to like this video. So if you didn't know, October is Dysautonomia Awareness Month and Dysautonomia, hold on guys, this is going to be a little bit confusing. So I have mitochondrial disease and that caused my dysautonomia and dysautonomia caused hot. <sighs> so taking mitochondrial disease out of the question it is not in this video i'm not talking about that but i do have dysautonomia and dysautonomia itself it can be a very broad term it's an umbrella term and dysautonomia is where you have the failure of your autonomic nervous system so things that you don't mentally need to think through before you do them such as breathing your heart rate your blood pressure your blood sugar your vision temperature, regulation, your whole gastrointestinal system, organs, <laughs> like everything can go wrong basically. So it's everything important that is effect that is affected. But now that I've established that POTS is a form of dysautonomia, what exactly is POTS and what does it stand for? It stands for postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome and it is a condition that is really, really hard and is often really um, debilitating. Sorry, for a second, I forgot what word I was going to say. So basically what happens anytime a POTS patient sits up, gets up too fast, bends over, stands for even just a few minutes, what happens is blood pools in your lower extremities, your legs and feet. And because of that, your blood pressure drops super low and your heart rate goes super high, making a decreased flow of blood to your brain. So the blood that your brain really needs does not come when it needs to come if you are stuck in any of those scenarios. So in turn, you feel woozy, you feel dizzy, it can trigger anxiety, you feel out of it, you feel poopy, you feel like you can't think, you feel woozy. And the biggest thing that is common for pretty much all POTS patients is fainting or falling and injuring yourself. I actually haven't fainted from POTS, at least I don't think so, I don't know, I might have. I can't remember, but I've gotten very, very close, like very close, like literally felt myself blacking out before. And that is hard for me though. I am more of a falling and injuring risk. So this part makes me honestly laugh because I totally do this in public and all the time. Like it doesn't matter where I am and I have no choice. But say I'm like sitting on the ground and I have to get up. For example, at school, we all sit on the ground outside and I get up. No matter how slow I get up, no matter how carefully I am, no matter if I cling onto a wall, I always feel woozy and dizzy and either need to sit down or basically fall back into the wall or fall forward. Something always needs to be supporting my head and neck to prevent me from getting worse from falling or passing out. And it's all about, POTS is all about like trying to prevent things. So yes, I fall back into a wall in public and at home. Some people are like, what the heck are you doing? And I'm just like, can't help it. I can't help that my body's broken but it just it just makes me laugh because like you get up and then you fall back in anyways I'm getting off point here guys so I so that was just one example and because of pots it is really difficult for me to bend over to do anything to pick up anything I have resorted to thinking that toasts were made for pots patients because honestly guys when I'm telling you I drop things I am the clumsiest person ever and I literally drop 5,000 things a day. So I have to ask for help a lot and then I feel bad, but I don't have a choice because I really don't want to pass out and I really don't want to feel bad because sometimes just bending over triggers pots for the rest of the day, no matter if I'm lying down or not. So 
it's definitely frustrating functionality wise it's not easy having to rely on other people to pick things up for you you know there's no easy way out of pots even with medication i'm on medication and i'm so grateful that this medication worked that i'm on i'm on Benadryl. however it doesn't work all the time and whenever i bend over i still experience pots whenever i get up too fast i experience pots i still experience pots every day but the severity of it thankfully has gone down and i do want to say i am so grateful that my degen is working for me at the moment and that it has increased my stability and increased my functions just to everyday life and everyday things um but that doesn't mean i don't have bad days i still have days where my degen just it doesn't work like it's supposed to i have days where it's triggered for no reason and i'm not dehydrated i've eaten i've taken all my meds so it's hard every pots patient has deals with this and it just really stinks because of how much it affects day-to-day -day life no matter if you're on medication for it or not and i also want to clarify that every pot's patient's experience is completely different they might have similar experiences to me or completely opposite no matter what no matter the severity is something that is debilitating that you can't cure and that you're gonna most likely have the rest of your life and Guys, we need to find treatment for dysautonomia and POTS. And while we have all these tools like IV infusions and medications, they're not cures, they just help the symptoms, but they don't necessarily always help the disease or the condition. So I would really appreciate if you shared this video in the description box below. I'm going to be putting some links of dysautonomia in general and POTS. So if you're curious and you're not familiar with it, you can look there. But please share this video and please raise awareness for dysanomia and POTS, postural orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, because those are two things that really need, really need to be in the spotlight. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment down any questions you have below or any of your experiences with POTS at all. And don't forget to like this video and I will see you all in my next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys.